Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another electrifying edition of The Black Table. I am your host, Olamide, and as always, we intend to be incomparable, insightful, and thought-provoking. Tonight, we dive into something that's got everyone buzzing. The CBN policy that requires banks to collect social media handles from their customers. Yes, that's right. This new regulation is part of an enhanced know your customer policy. The question is, what does this mean? I mean, for us, the consumers, and what's the larger implication for our privacy and financial security? As always, I won't be doing this alone, as I have with me the most esteemed gentleman you can find from any part of the world. Of course, I'm going to be starting with my right, or my left, <laughs> rather. I have a man who has redefined the quality when it comes to fashion, yeah, that's it. travel, mm. and lifestyle. Continue, 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 continue. We call him the rich uncle mm. Mm. for all the right reasons. Hello. <laughs> that's you all, the all, all the right reasons. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool there, something He accepts us uh, tea non-stop, you know, without, you know, holding back or anything like that. Welcome, I, rich uncle. I don't know how to hold back. I hope, hope you've... <laughs> You know, man. <laughs> hope you had a good week. Oh, my, if I want to talk to this week, guys, be but God pass everybody. Uh, solid, solid. And of course, uh, I'm going to be introducing the man at the bar right now. We all know him as the mayor of Agungi. The man that does the cheese. most uh, faithful in man in Lagos. One of the best voices you will hear on radio. A man filled with wisdom. A man so so great that they had to name him Gang. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> God has been good. God has been good. Life has been kind. I'm yeah. telling you. And we can't complain. We always, thank the Lord. It's always a pleasure to have Gang, you know, mm. giving us his white, you know, his white nuggets from the bar over there. You. And of course, <laughs> nuggets. But like, why yes. did I everything that you say always has? <laughs> I mean, nuggets now, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and of course, what would the show be without its own you know, diplomat? Mm. The navigator. Hey, hey now. Wahala. Wah Actor. Hey. MC. Okay. Premium MC. Nah, so, to be she, very precise. Well ah. done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody needs a deck in, in his their life. 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 Wow. Deck, welcome. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know where you guys got that. Everybody needs a deck. No, but everybody does need a deck. Guy, no, I don't put me for trouble for house. No, you can't. Really. Talk to everybody needs a deck. Everybody no, 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 but your wife has a deck at home. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Okay. It's good, to mean, be here. it's good to be here again, mm. you know. You know, last week I wasn't here because, yes. you know, I needed, you were, you were doing waka waka. I needed some alone time. Mm. Mm. Now, you you went know. to chop the money alone. No, no, no. We, you know, sometimes it's not just about the money. I just needed some nature, you know, nature, some waterfalls okay. Okay. and, you know. Mm. You, some... you tell us more about it. I don't know why show. I keep doing like this. Uh. Like nature, it's self explanatory. Nature, 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 we get it, we, we get, get it, it. <laughs> we get it. Anyways, it's a jam packed show today, it's so much to talk about. Uh, we're going to dive in on you know some of the recent news that's come true. Uh, of course, PDD is in the news, we're definitely going to talk about ah, it. Uh, why? We have to talk about him, right? Ah. Yeah, we'll, we'll dive a bit more into that. Of Fortunate. course, uh, I saw our the very video. good friend, Potable, is ah, also in Omola the news. Lomi. Yeah, so portable is ah, in the news. That's, that's good. good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and of course, but maybe, would... do, you, do, you, do you watch football? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Sometimes, you know, okay. not all the time. But okay. I'm not a fanatic, so to speak. Okay, yeah. all right. So, Which I uncle, mean, what about you? I used to be a football fan back then, but one night like this, Arsenal lost Champions League. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I never looked back. Bro, you okay. know, you know okay. so what you said Gang is actually... definitely yes. is a football so, fan. So, is, is actually... You know, Balls, it's actually sports, one of the things that, that yeah. happened to me. So it was an experience that actually right, that, that took was, my, my the love of football yeah. from me. You know, the day I saw someone, you know, try to celebrate uh, a goal and the person literally hit their feet on the ground and literally this toe removed. Okay, all right, enough of the gory nah, story. Nah, nah. Thank you. you. That was the end. Oh. For me, <laughs> that was the end. <laughs> we that take a quick break now. When we return, uh, the black table continues. We'll be really now so much. Thank you for that bro code. I mean, bro code is something that we should have a Bible 
and oh, pulled yeah. out. So yeah, that was a good one. But before we get into our first quick fire for today, I want to give a <laughs> a big shout out to No Limit Stitches Come on, man. for this fiery drip Come on, man. Uh, that I'm wearing. Come on, uh, man. I'm definitely the wolf of Lagos tonight. Yeah, you know, I'm giving know. myself a, a title. Nice. And mm. you know, for all the best uh, in captains, garments, and but, all but of wait, that. But wait, let's let's be realistic. Seriously. Mm. We, uh, we keep coming to <laughs> this show. We keep coming to this show. And No Limit Stitches all right, does not send Back to the show. No Back to the show. No No Limit Stitches. They play it by far. All right, back to the show. I want us to quickly touch... Who limit his stitches. <laughs> God. All right, I want us to quickly touch on um, the video that has been circulating recently, um, the PDD. Oh, your guy. Cassie. Ah. No, not my guy. Ah, he's not your guy. He's, he's not your guy. guy. He's like, ah, he he's cannot like... be my guy. Anyways, I mean, it's not so, something that so, we can so, avoid. So, so, we have to talk so, about so, it. So, funny enough, eh? Yeah. While I was in the office... Like an hour I go out, my wife sent me the video. And the first thing I said was, ah, like I actually really like Diddy. Mm. I like Diddy. Like, you know that ghetto fabulous started from the bottom, mm. walked his way up to the top. But I think black, I don't like to generalize, but Americans, black successful Americans don't seem to know how to act. Like they don't know how to be here because you are Diddy for Christ's sake. Like, what's that about? Yeah. What's that about? You can have anybody you want in the white beating woman. Mm. Why? That was really, really, really bad. It so really it now bad. makes me, because when all of this news came out about him, I'm like, they're just trying to bring this guy down. They're trying to bring yeah. him down, like Bill Cosby. But at this point I'm now, not, I'm not even on defense anymore. I'm like, yeah, this is just too so much you see, going on. So right you now. see, you see, when you see the likes of Diddy and you know the black elite in America, you know, and you see this kind of video come out. Mm, it is, it's, it's very disappointing to <laughs> realize that, you know, I would have preferred to think that they just wanted to bring this bring guy down. That, that, okay, that's okay. Do you understand exactly. what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Like, but seeing it play out is very you know, negative and very yeah. disturbing, disturbing for me mm. because it, it, it now feels like the likes of, pardon me, R. Kelly um, actually did all of the things that they said that he they did. did. Uh, yeah. But they did. That's all right. why they were No, no, no hold guilty. on. I'm saying yeah. that in my mind, yeah. I mean, because of how much we idolize this you guy, still yeah. I would have just thought that, exactly. you know, let me just like, give him a benefit, benefit of the of doubt. doubt. Yeah. Do you understand but, what I'm saying? Ah. But when you see it play out and you yeah. see it live, yeah. my brother, you can't even, you can't trust I, I anybody you anymore, mean. you know. Gang, what, what's your take on this? What do you think? I'm coming from two places. Now, here's the thing. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Not the way you think. For me, here's the thing. First of all... I mean, how do you know how I think that? <laughs> You're the rich uncle. We don't no, no, know. because where you, there's nothing that comes out of your mouth that is pure. Okay. I'm coming from two places. Like... The first place okay. is, okay, a lot of people felt they're, well, trying, the they're, they're trying to tell, take, take Diddy down. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. General, do you understand? But thinking. in all honesty, check this out. It just goes to show you that a lot of people have skeletons in their yeah, in their wardrobes. Yeah, true, that true. video was from 2016, Thing almost that, 10, years 10 years ago. ago. Yeah. Almost 10 years ago. Ah. To show you that they've had that footage. For that long. For, for that, that long. long. Waiting yeah. for the right time to drop it. So you ask yourself, how much footage do they have on other people and mm. other Diddy things that they choose to bring out now? The second place that I am coming from mm. <laughs> is, okay. you know, the back. is... If you look at the kind of abuse a Cassie or other women face in their relationships that you never know, right. and when they come out and say it, people don't believe them or support them mm. because there's no video footage to prove exactly. it, you'd be shocked. This yeah. is a lady that has been with him for so long, yeah, exactly. had her own allegations, has left exactly. him, has married and has had children, mm. and now this thing surfaces. It comes up. You know, when she took him to court, they settled almost immediately. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. In fact, it was like it was like a... You and know, someone said, it was if, like if a you read, quiet case. Yeah. If you look at the, the, yeah. the issue, didn't come out. The before documents, you know, that yeah. her before documents are there to show all of the allegations yeah. and everything right. leveled against him. Mm. If you read it, you'll be shocked. Mm. But it's so heartbreaking that people that we've celebrated, we've honored, and almost worshipped, we now find out that they're not the saints we always thought they were. Yeah, no, okay, no, so no. Um, unfortunately, I think this whole thing started about two years ago when people started doing series of documentaries shortly after surviving R. Kelly mm. and names were being tossed around and Didi's name was tossed around about uh, being one of the more controversial people and he's got a lot of you know stuff that, uh, that we're going to put out there. So uh, gradually when this revelation came up, I'm, I'm not a bit surprised 
because there's even still more stuff that's uh, really dark stuff. And that says a lot about people. You need to understand that if you uh, have attained a certain level of success, certain things will come your way, but you need to be able to manage it manage better. It probably, yeah. Yeah. Watching that video has just it was supported me. So let me, let me say yeah. something quickly. I wanted to say this earlier on, but I think it skipped my mind. You see, the relationship between Maze and Didi was a very, very strong relationship. For me personally, I realized something was wrong when they went their separate ways. Now that's one cycle. Mm. On the other end, when Miz gave his life, you know, when he became religious, yeah. right? You would have expected that Miz would try to, you know, I mean, after so many years, mm. they're good now, they're yeah. all doing well. Reconcile you would himself. Expect yeah. him to reconcile. Yeah. But if you have listened to Miz speak about Didi, you would have heard Miz say, you know, very, 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 you know, degrading things about mm. Didi. Now, mm. someone who is that religious would not say something if they have not seen, seen something it, yeah. or experienced you know, something. If you follow, well, if you follow well, the well, story from Mace yeah. and even uh, Mace Cameron, the whole bad boy, and yeah. this is from the 90s, yeah. and even with Puff Daddy's lifestyle and the mm. parties he used to mm. throw and all the gatherings he used to have, it makes you now see elements of truth into what a couple of people have been saying Same. against him. It's so sad that we're going to look at another downfall of another great mm. black man. But in all honesty, it makes you question other people as well and what they have on yeah, others. That's to be sincere. What they have on other people. Because you'll be surprised. And all of this is hotels. I remember the, the Jay-Z Solange uh, elevator situation. Right. Whereby the hotel, where they were already, they have this footage and they want to sell it to people. Yes. Hotels have this CC footage and they'll say, look at who we saw. And, and look at really, what happened. And exactly. If you, and if you yeah. notice something that's very big in the United States with celebrities are a lot of NDAs. Mm. You're going to parties, you're going to events, you sign yeah. non-disclosures, so you can't even talk or say anything about it. So gradually, mm. the truth is coming out there, and we're getting to see people for who they are. Okay, well, um, let's just hope that uh, this is resolved as quickly as possible. So it's not going to be resolved with the amount of things. It will be resolved eventually. With the amount of things. Nobody will be resolved. He thought he's a bad boy in life. No, so, yeah, but, I mean, yeah, he, so, he calls himself, you know, bad boy. So world. how do you want to resolve these kind of issues? I no, mean, I mean, this, I mean, this, I mean this, justice. This has, I mean, this I mean has justice. gone really bad Because right it's not just Cassie. I don't uh, see any case in this Iman Kasi zone no, because he has already paid her off. Yeah. Said, no, no, so I, I don't think that footage I think the can footage be used in court. The footage just shows us that yes, this is what dealing happen. with. It did happen, yes. Exactly, like, and this is exactly. Who this guy is. All right, talking about another controversial person that's coming back home to Nigeria. Uh, Portable was in the news uh, recently. Um, oh, yes, Portable exactly. is always in the news. Yeah, but uh, obviously not for the right reasons. I can't He's remember never the, in the news for the right, for the right reasons. reasons. But this one's a bit uh, embarrassing because uh, mm. he uh, was forcefully arrested by the police um, over an alleged 40 million on on paid debt. He uh, apparently had an arrangement, an agreement with this car uh, owner. Dealer dealer that he was going to pay uh, for his uh, vehicle in installments and of course uh, he thinks uh, <laughs> he, he didn't do that and after several you know um, up, um, you know severally trying to reach out to him talk to him about it ask him about and of course no response from portable so basically like he didn't to, live up to his commitment he didn't live basically. up to his commitment and I, I saw the documents I saw the dates mm. how it was arranged and, you know, that guy kind of, like, put him out there to, you know, call out for help. Like, oh, this guy is owing me money. And, you know, it's a very funny deal because from the um, arrangement they have, a portable signed that um, the car dealer has the right to take back the car, regardless of how much he's paid, if, if he doesn't, you know, yeah. meet up with his, yeah, his own yeah. agreement of the deal. So it's, it's very ugly. I saw the video... And I, I, I ask myself questions. When will Portable learn? So the question is, first and foremost, where is the car itself? Good is question. Is he still using the car? Because I think that's the car that he had an accident with. No, no, that's not the car. But this, this is, is another, this one. another one. So where is the car? Because in all of this video, we didn't see any car. Mm. They didn't, you know, seize the car. You know, they, they arrested him, mm. you know, in... In not in what I would call not so professional way. Mm -hmm. you know, it was literally no, 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 dragged. 
Yeah. Are not but the group of professionals know how to go about it now. Yeah. Yeah. He resisted money. arrest. He resisted they arrest. They invited That's him several times. Several times. He didn't go to So he resisted out yeah, arrest. Yeah, he so he was dragged. He fled. Yeah. Like when they came, he jumped. Papa jumped first. Okay, yeah. so, so my question is this, right? Could there have been a better way to no. have arrested him? Someone <laughs> no. Was trying to There's no better way to arrest him. So, okay, so what? You want to call Jesus as if Bapodibusoro? Because that's all that was left. Because, mm. to be honest with you, Possible is someone that I, I kind of admire some of the things that he does yeah. and mm. the way he does it. The story it. is very interesting. So I and I'll tell you what, I'll tell I, you what. And that's it's, it. very, it's very unorthodox what he does and how he does it, yeah. right? However, there are some marketing, you know, uh, ideas that you would be able to catch from some of the things that he does. Because apparently he's out right now and he has released a song exactly. about this already. Yeah. Now, you see, Portable in his persona literally sells a certain, a, a certain lifestyle, which mm. is controversy. Yeah. Right? Mm. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this was even sort of planned. Mm. Okay. I, I wouldn't be. Look, let me tell you so something. So I think you're giving him too much credit. Media, I don't think, I don't, I don't think media in Nigeria far. has become so, so crazy. Mm. My, my apologies for the, for the, for the word. But you, what you must understand is, I wouldn't be surprised that that so was just a buzz. Supposed to be like some it sort of, could be a buzz uh, because I did not see any uniformed policeman in that video. So let's 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 mm. let's be clear on one. I didn't see one one uniformed policeman. Let's be clear on one thing. Yeah. Portable is badly behaved. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's yes. badly behaved. Absolutely. One. Number two, let's even assume that is a marketing scheme or marketing gimmick as it mm -hmm. would be, which I don't believe, by the way. Yeah. Mm. I think that. In all honesty, and that's the thing that comes with fame, it comes at a price. Yeah. So Portable came off of controversy. Like we all knew Portable because of one fight or the other that exactly. he had with somebody or one right. segment. Yeah. And one way or the other, he had made his brand completely about that. About that, which yes. Which worked to a very large extent. Which is still working for him. Which is still working for him. Which is still working for. Go be honest. Right. Yeah. However, the problem with things like that is that you tend to get carried away, mm. thinking you can do. Any you can continue doing but that. How, how long mm. do you think, let me ask Gang that question, how long do you think that he can continue with the controversy and still be relevant? Controversy sells. You know, no, no, I, I've, because, I've, said, I've said this before on the show. Honestly, I don't know any of his songs. So. I've, I've said this on the show before. Sometimes we make the wrong people famous, which is sad. And I'm not exactly a fan of his. I understand his story is blah, blah. So many people have that story. And I don't like the narrative that he pushes. He can't keep doing this for that long. I'm even surprised that with the amount of where he's coming from, for him to make that amount of money mm. and put that into buying a vehicle and making that down payment to owe that amount, I'm like, dude, yeah. based on where you're coming from, you shouldn't be living like this. You should yeah. give back. Not even give back. No, like you it, should, it should be more prudent. It, yes, it yeah. should be. You, you, you should be more responsible from. with money. Yeah. Like, you, if he's basing his life on controversy, if That's he, what he is, people yeah. are going to catch up and be like, what, when you hear portable is in the news, be like, what, whatever that is. Mm. So, but whatever, I, no, whatever. I, I think you guys are missing it's it. It's not going to last that long. No, that because you are educated and enlightened. It's mm. target audience. They just they don't like care. Hey, but, but, so we, we talk about. I really love where you but went to. Because no, I was about because, to say but, that but, the brands target that audience, go, people yes. that are learned. You are not impossible. Frank, no, people doesn't care about you and I. But this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. He people, doesn't. people that are as learned as we are and are in the industry mm. are investing in him to exploit him and his fan base mm. to yeah, exploit him yeah. and his audience okay. it will get to a point we've seen people like him come and go mm. yes, exactly. never been, no, but let's give portable his flower yeah, there's, there's, never been a yes. there's never been a portable there's never been a portable there isn't. Just but, one portable. but that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> when they're done with him they'll mm. look for the next riff raft mm. to now say wow. let's invest in this so, this this trenches guy. No, please, I no, please, I, I I take exception with you saying that yeah. possible is refraff. No, I Come didn't say he now. is. I said they'll look for the <laughs> next one. Why do you think that? <laughs> if you say the next, <laughs> what happened one. to this one? <laughs> it is it is so what it is. So, so, but if, 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 if we're going to be honest, yeah. Portable doesn't care about your opinion. Yes, mm -hmm. he doesn't yes. really yes. care, right? Yeah. So literally. Even with all of this, he will throw a show at Agege Stadium tomorrow and it will sell out. So yes. so what what Let me ask you a question, right? And like you if said, you nobody, call this person yeah, a I don't, I don't know any. an RR, mm. right? What do you... So, who would you prefer? DJ Chicken or Portable? What? <laughs> There's no difference between them, though. What's that? Who's that? Why, DJ Chicken. Why, why is Gang saying that? You didn't have to have seen the way Gang said it. Gang said it. What? 
know. I know. This guy is a Nigerian butter. No, who is DJ Chicken? So DJ Chicken is an upcoming. Arika, upcoming possible. Let me tell you. He's an upcoming. But you know the funny thing. The funny thing is that DJ Chicken. DJ Chicken is an Arika. DJ Chicken has been around for uh a longer time actually. No, because. Because I remember, I remember one time that someone was shouting. And, and, and I used to, I used to tell myself I was a yardstick. <laughs> but the fact that I don't know who DJ Chicken is, <laughs> it's so, it's so popular, man. It's who's popular. DJ Chicken? It's ah, a, it's popular, to man. You know Arika. <laughs> you know Mo Guapa. <laughs> eh? And so you have not heard uh, they play my fans. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh I'm my sorry. God, guys. But the level of coming portable is like. You're still in the in the gutter there. You're still in the trenches. <laughs> so, so, guys, what I'm is, he's living the life. He's yes. living the life of a trenchy. No. 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 no, it's not. That's what you're saying. No, it's not. He's not. Portable. portable went to the UK and it he did, doesn't he matter. Did, he right, did right. a collab with, with, right. with, with uh, um, those uh, things that define you now. No, you guys fail to understand that. <laughs> Come on. If portable dies today, his name will forever be remembered. Yes. Because that guy has defied the odds. No, that guy yeah, from anyway, nothing. You don't understand what I'm saying. We're talking about you portable let, on the black table. Listen, I, I, you, you don't understand. You know, the thing but is, that's what I'm saying. You, you can take, take it out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of it him. It doesn't want okay, the hood to be taken out of him. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care. My question, my question before we go to the next fire, my question before we go to the next fire There's a DJ called Chicken. Yeah, bro. Yeah, DJ Chicken. Okay, you know what? Let's just end this and move on to the next quick fire. Fire. The next week fire is a bit, it's a bit weird and funny because last week we talked about Coral BD and Arcades and oh all God. of that. And yeah, this okay. next no, one is no. even worse no. because uh, a man posted a obscene uh, picture of his four-year-old daughter on social media. And, Cora's um, daughter. I mean, not mm -hmm. Cora. I, I just made a of reference. Last week we just talked about this, about yeah. posting. His a own man kid. posted a obscene picture, picture of his four-year-old daughter. Right. His own kid. Yes, on social media. Why? So I, I saw that so story, bad that people, I, I just didn't want to look people, at it, so I don't yeah. know what it's people, about. I'd like people, to know what um, it's called, about. Hey, well people called him out and all of that, and it got the attention of the Nigerian <laughs> police. He was arrested. And he's been arrested, yeah. you understand? Know and um, it it's brings us back to what we talked about last week. About his own child. His own child, yeah. <sighs> about, you know, what are the limits when it comes to putting out children on social media? I think we all agree that, you know what, social media is not for children. It's not, no, it's definitely not for children. Not. You're not supposed not. to put out pictures so, or, you know, do yeah, I agree images totally. or whatever. I agree. So know, the children. thing is this. Um, so, okay, so, I mean, that, that, that also takes us to um, child protection in Nigeria. Exactly. Thank you. Thank exactly. you. So we need, to, we need to understand that child protection is something that we also need to take seriously. And I must Very honestly seriously. give kudos to... Um, the Minister for mm. Women Affairs, she has been up and doing, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. I, I really don't know her before, but from the things that she does, you realize that these are people who are conscious about what is happening around us. Mm. Now, I would also like to appeal to her to also look into child protection, especially on social, social media, media yeah. for children. Mm. Mm. Now, that would include interacting with some of these social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and the likes. Yeah. When you see things that are not, or once you, I mean, maybe they will have bots that yeah. look after children protection. Once you yeah. see that something is inappropriate, you bring down that video immediately. Immediately, immediately. Yeah. immediately yes. Immediately. Yeah. Because I didn't see that video. Or I, I don't know if it was a picture or what. I didn't, I didn't want to look at it. I exactly. didn't, there was no a point, lot of shy there was no point doing mm. that because mm. I didn't want to know what he was doing. That's why I wanted to listen to what he actually did for those yeah. people who saw, saw the saw picture. The you know, know, because I can't understand why in, in, why in the world you will think it's okay for you to expose your underage child, yeah. a child that you... I don't even want I to know, go Unfortunately it. for um, um, what we... What's going on in the world generally today is that um, there really isn't a um, a protection law against things like this because I feel that in Nigeria, children, no, no, in so Nigeria, there are child Nigeria, protection laws serious everywhere around the world, but in Nigeria, it outside the country. And you know, it's really sad because a lot of people are getting away with things like that. There was, there, um, so um, you know. A lot of people are getting away uh, with this. I've been told that there are child protection laws in Nigeria, mm. but how effective are they? Uh, are we seeing, you know, it take, you know, mm. the, the, you know, the strength mm. of the law against people who have done wrongly? There was a video that was trending uh, a long time back, I think sometime last year, and, you know, it had to do with a, a young child too, 
this guy was doing this very annoying skit and he was uh, implying all sorts of rubbish and you know things like that you need to make it public enough it, you know punish people let them know they can't get away with I things agree like with that. You apart, apart from you. having the, the, the apart from having child labor laws in mm. Nigeria there's a way social media needs child to be regulated. Not labor. You know, child, child, child labor, protection. child protection. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I notice a lot of times on the meta platforms, when it comes to music, and let's say if you're playing a song, for example, they're quick to catch on and tell you, you cannot play it for a certain number of seconds mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you don't have the rights to blah, 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 right. blah, blah. All your posts, to an extent, are vetted under a matter of seconds on the web. Yeah. So when people post certain things, you should immediately be able to vet it and know that I've put up post on IG and Twitter where I was actually blocked. You were flagged. told <coughs> I was flagged. I was reported. My stuff was deleted. So on that note alone, they should be yeah. able to catch these things in a matter of seconds yeah. and immediately bar it. And don't let it linger it further. Don't let it linger further. Yeah. And immediately, like they did to me, they sent me and say, your post was taken down because it didn't meet it did, did this, this, this. If I have problems with this, I should contact this, this yeah. before my account is suspended and so on. So I wonder how people will post things about children and it stays and will, online yes. that long. And yeah. they even allow you to share and, exactly. you know, it keeps going. You see, I love that you said something about Meta. Mm. Did you know that there are specific things that you tell AI to do, right, that are illegal? Mm. It will do it and delete it immediately. Did you know that? I didn't so know. take, but for instance, like you what? ask... So you ask a question, for instance, that... Okay, um, I can't remember what. Okay, yeah. So I said, okay, uh, copy, copy some sort of um, some sort of uh, um, uh, book. Mm. All right. Mm. He knew AI knew that that was plagiarism, right? Yeah. I saw the result. It came out mm. and deleted. Mm. So you know, it will just come out like you just see the the, 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 the page, the result. Mm. Like you you see that it has given you the result. Mm. But it would delete it. Mm. So, in other words, we've you gotten to a so, level in technology. So, technology has gone yeah. to a place where it can actually identify yeah, that exactly. this is wrong. Yeah. And we can't allow this to go on. Yeah. So, it should be able to delete the stuff or flag it in such a way that you won't be able to share it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because you also have that opportunity to report pages. But before you even report the pages or report a post, mm. it should be able to flag it and see already that this is inappropriate. Exactly. Absolutely. Because if exactly. you go on social media, Absolutely. and if you're looking for something pornographic, it's mm. hard to find mm -hmm. because it's been flagged or taken to certain yeah. sites. It's yeah. automated, so, yes. Do you understand? That's yeah. why it's not all over the place. So why can't they catch this when it comes to children? That's yeah. correct. Generally, That's correct. my all opinion, right. I think social media should be regulated. In oh, Nigeria. now we've, that's where we're going to now. No, in mm. Nigeria it should be. Because well, absolute power corrupts absolutely. No, but do you know the problem I have with that is the way our government functions, do you understand? When they, hear, when they see such situations, they now try to use that against people. Standard. In, in the wrong ways. But the truth is, the truth is, every, any and every, so I think the reason why I even believe social media should be regulated is the yeah. fact that anybody can post anything Same, as yeah. a fact. Yeah. And there are people around the world that won't even just, bother fact checking it. And they just they pick just it up. They just run with it. Yeah. And yeah. you can actually destroy nations like this. Mm. Like, true. So someone can sit down somewhere and tell you, oh my God, there's a riot happening in so-so and so-so and so place. Mm -hmm. right? You create panic. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Unless, like, exactly. These, things, yeah, that's these things should... And, and the thing is this. Okay, let's ah. say you can't even control what people put out. You can't. What, what are the... What are the uh, there are repercussions for you know, the repercussions. even wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. exactly. so, people so can see what one thing I must say ah, is, no, if be. I'm going to be totally honest, the, the Nigerian government has been doing quite well in the area of cyberbullying and cyber stalking and what have you. Mm -hmm. Yes... We all know well, that the government done. can can sometimes, you know, dash into the negative well, so with I, it. No. However, but what, what you must also understand is that people are actually working. In fact, I, I must commend the Nigerian police as well because um, the police PPRO has also gone into making sure that he responds to people by himself on Twitter, right? Mm. Now, this is understanding Great that these people are also, yeah. mm. you know, technologically advanced. They're also getting involved in social media and trying to also, you know, reach out to people. So if you see something, say something, they mm. respond. Mm. If, will you know this? Yeah. That, if you see something, if you say it, they respond. Because that's the mm. fact. The part, the, the part of it because this guy, this, this issue we're talking about, they spoke about it. The police responded. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So Could if you say that, that we should regulate oh, social that, media. I think it uh, has to be, but it has to be. Because no, I think, I think when, there when should you, be a meeting so in the when, middle no, somewhere. So when, you, when you travel abroad, you realize that we have the freest internet in the world.
Mm. Our internet is not regulated. You can set anything and everything so, yeah. on your phone. You can't do that in the Middle East. Yeah, of course. You can't. Okay, so that's, those are religious concerns. You can't, you can't even do it. Those a lot of things that you concerns. do in Nigeria. You can't do it in the There's US. some places, some sites you can't even access. You can't yes, access those There's certain content you can so, never get. Yes, you can I download agree. any music. On Nigeria's internet, mm, any yeah. you can't do it in America. It's not possible. It's not. Mm, it's not you possible, can't illegally bro. download music. Really? Mm. Yes. You can't. I've never been to the US. You can't. I know you, you have been can't. to the US. But in Nigeria, Rich up when you just, take just me to the US, like like big now. Go go US mm. now, big. Bro. Hey <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm Anyways, um, I mean. <laughs> Uh, we'll all go to the US. Keep together. your children <laughs> offline. <laughs> all right, we need to take a quick break. Um, there's still the main topic that we're going to be talking about, and it's still tied to social media and policies. So um, stay tuned. It is the Black Table, the ultimate man's um, guide, and we'll see you shortly. All right, welcome back. It's still the Black Table, yes, and it we've is. been having some uh, very interesting conversations, and we're moving on to the main topic. Uh, for the evening, and that has to do with the new KYC, you know, by uh, that has been suggested by the CBN, and that's you know digging a bit deeper into how they know their customers, you and I more. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of questions that uh, people are asking. There are a lot of questions that we need to put out there too. And you know, let's talk about it. Let's find out what this thing is all about. Now, um, you know, the new regulation is part of an enhanced know your customer policy uh, and you know it's about financial security hmm. generally so, uh, you know. so they say so so they say uh, now um, I'm not a financial expert but I do know what social media is hmm. and what that is isn't that like too much well For so some... my question is this will the social media uh, go over all of the data they already have which which essentially means that what then happens to our BVN, our, uh, what's it called now, the identity number and all of those, mm. uh, that's mm. the, the uh, NIN. NIN and yeah. all, all those datas are with the bank already. Exactly. Now, the social media, what exactly does that do for anyone? Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Now, who is to say that I would give you my exact social media account? Mm. What if I give you an account I'm not using at all? Okay. What if I create a special social media account just for the purpose of giving it to the bank? How do you verify? Mm. In fact, in Nigeria, do we have verification portals mm. in our agencies? Mm. Can, you, can somebody in the police right now po point, you know, punch in your BVN, your yep. NIN, and yep. it will come yep. out, oh, your yeah. information yeah. will come yeah. out? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. Now, if I give you the wrong social media account, how do you verify, verify that, that it's me? So first mm. of all, for somebody that says that um, I think social media should be regulated, mm. it sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but I'm, <laughs> I can't see the, no, but I can't can't see see the, the sense mm. Mm. in, like, please make it make sense. You want people's social media handle, mm. central bank, social media handle, yeah. like, how, like, to what yeah. end? So it's a different thing if the government, <clears throat> not the central bank, if the mm. government said they wanted everyone's social media handle, that's a different conversation. Yeah. Central bank. What has... Well, your tweets, your posts, what has it got to do with mm. your feelings? If we're going to be political yeah. about this, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me quote, mm. uh, yeah. let me quote Nasser Jones, yeah. who said, people fear what they don't understand, mm. hate what they can't conquer. Now, I just feel there's, I don't want to say old people, but people that don't understand what's happening in this day and age. You okay. Now, in knowing your customer, you have the person's details. Like we said, they have all so much data on you. They have your address. They, they have, have your. They have your NIN. They have your NIN. They have everything. Yeah. They, have, they have your. Here's the funny thing. They know. They know your marital status. Exactly. They know your, whether you're a parent or not. They have so much information that they know you. Why do you want to now include social media in this? Now here's the problem. Number one, this to an extent is almost free promo for social media handles. Mm. Straight up. You and, get me? You're not promoting up. for people to be on social media, <coughs> to gather their so, information so, here and there. Yeah, so first things first, not everyone is on social no, exactly. media. Exactly. So, so what happens not so everybody is on so, social media. Uh, so and, if you and, ask me now, I'll and, tell you I'm not on social media. Yeah. Fortunately for me, my social media is my name, Tiangang, T Y E N G G A N G, <laughs> on all platforms. Free promo. Okay. Feel free to follow. <laughs> free so promo. that's my social media. But if my social media was that faithful man, mm. yeah. do you understand? How do you confirm it's me? 
Mm. So, that, and I can have multiple and, and social media that, accounts. And that's the question. So okay, so guys, before we go any further, let's even break down the reasons <clears throat> behind no why there is this, this, and I, I, I like this. I put I down. like, uh, I like uh, that. Let, let's, let's break mm. it down. So that, I mean, because I want to know what makes, it makes the first sense. basic idea is that um, the official line is to prevent fraud and improve how? accuracy. I don't how? understand. With how? social how? media. Customer information. How? Uh, wait now, guys, so that we can now tear into it. On the surface, it, it does it does it does, it does make, make a bit bro, of sense. Bro, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, no, I mean like fraud is so somebody stole my money. Fraud is, fraud is a man. Fraud is a massive work. issue, mm -hmm. and anything you know to combat it is generally a good thing. But uh, what about privacy concerns? Uh, we're, 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 is really so trying. we also have this like um, we're talking about banks having access to your social media activity. That's a lot of personal data in one place. We're talking about you know um, what if the data gets misused or falls into the wrong hands, data breaches, you know, real concern. Uh, the implications go on and on. Um, let's consider a few scenarios. First, let's say there's a potential increased monitoring and profiling. Now, they come to you. They come to Rich Uncle. See. Yes, well, wait, 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 they come to Rich Uncle. No, 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 no I'm just trying to... They come to Rich Uncle, yeah? Okay. Rich Uncle travels a lot. So, mm -hmm. uh, Rich Uncle proposes certain things business-wise. Uh, Rich Uncle is answered quickly. Uh, you know, they come to deck. They see Deck's uh, activities, traveling, and all of that. They go, like, oh, this guy is well to do. The same thing with gang. They come to, they check it. Now, I'm guessing, I might be wrong, that there's going to be a lot of profiling because what that means is that they'll look at people's activities on social media and see, oh, okay, can this guy afford to do this or whatever, which is wrong, by the no, way. No, but you guys because... don't even seem to understand that already in Nigeria, we, yeah. not just in Nigeria, around the world, you live yeah. in Big Brother. Yeah. Right? We live in mm. Big Brother. Yeah. Like, every single phone call you make, the network can trace it. Yeah. Where the phone was, where the phone call originated from, yeah. who you called, what time you called them. Yeah. Like, so you're not... So, the when, so you drive, when, you drive, privacy, bro, yeah. when you drive on Todd Mainland Bridge, yeah. let me... Allen Avenue, that Allen Roundabout. Yeah. Mm. If you jump the street like there, you get an SMS. If your car is registered in Lagos, mm. if your car is registered in Lagos, max five or six minutes, you get an SMS that you are owing Lagos State 20, 20K Bro, or 25K. Bro, don't say less. Really? I, I paid, yes. yes. paid 20,000 yes. yesterday because my road wordiness expired. I expired. Oh, no, no. It's so, that's over. Oh, so, no, yeah, no, it's not just that. I paid it yesterday. That's to show I you how much data is out. It's not a joke. Yeah. Yeah. They yes. know you. Mm. First off, let me... Do you know how many of first you have your national identity, mm. uh, NI and those ones yeah, have it, yeah. uh, FRSC, mm -hmm. they have a driver's, driver's license, license. Mm -hmm. biometrics, um, Nigerian immigration, they have your passport data, yeah. mm. the banks have your BVN. Mm. You cannot hide in this country. Forget yes, exactly, you hide. exactly. So that social media, oh, and the the the, the um, telcos. Have your they have print, they which have, does, which, I, they have everything. Which still so, doesn't make sense to me because so, I lost my phone. Yeah. I lost my phone and then I went back in to say, okay, well, you guys, give me another SIM card. And then they go, you have to go and get a police report. You have to get it. I'm like, why? You have All I have to do is put my fingerprint and on then, the and your details, and my details pop, up. pop up now. Exactly. So what are you taking all of that data for? Mm. So, so you're not using it. So you see the thing is you're this, using right? It. You, see, you see, you must also understand that sometimes some of these decisions are political in nature. Mm. You must understand it, what, however it is that you want to look at it. Because like you said, with all of these details, with all of this data that people have, mm. why do you still want more data? The ones that, that you, you have, you have not used it. Not used why it. are you still asking this? No, 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 you have not used it. Now, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm going somewhere. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going somewhere. What you must also understand is that you are collecting these details, mm. all right? You have them with you, right? How is social media going to, to help, help you okay. to catch somebody? Now, let me mm. break it down for you. I, I don't yeah, understand. Let's, let's, let, me tell you, let me tell you what's happening now. It's clear that we are moving towards some kind of socialist, communist type of society. I completely agree. Mm. Because privacy is key to Nigerians. Once you're trying to regulate and not allow people to have a private life, mm. you are moving towards being some kind of socialist or some kind of communist, which is very dangerous. Mm. Yes, there are political agendas against this whole thing. But now here's my concern. The banking sector in Nigeria, is there a problem on our social media? <laughs> the what? Is there a problem <laughs> okay, on social media? That's a good is one. Is there a problem my Twitter, and you know the, my mm. ex, no, but my you guys, TikTok? You know the one, that even, the one that scares me, that makes me is laugh. Is that what their problem is? Where are their business? priorities? You have their biometrics that cannot be changed. You have my biometrics. Like, once you put your fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner in Nigeria today, it brings out all of your info. Yeah. But what you are now chasing 
is something that I can create 500 of. Yeah. Now, here's the funny thing. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe, they're trying, maybe they're trying to raise their own numbers or they're trying to trend or they're trying to become influencers. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But a person's personal social media has nothing to do with the government's it, business. It, we already say the things you see online are not true. Yeah. They're not real. You know, you know, you know, you know the annoying part? You know the annoying one, part? Yeah. It's the fact that after all of these things that they have collected, yeah. Nigerians will still come and say they want to do censors. Why are you doing censors when you have all of, of all this the data? data. So and then you will still get the budget a duplication for the of so many things. That's going because on. their yeah. priorities and are lost. Yes. And these people are old people that have not decided to add youthful you people to help you think about certain policies <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think when you're creating. You First of all, they had that. They had, they had, they had, remember, that remember the amount they wanted to create? to co collect for cyber security. Yeah. Like, that's not being funded already. Mm -hmm. Now, they want, what else do they want to do? So, in all of this, I don't even think it has to do with youth, old people, and yeah. it's just, for me, it just shows a lack of clear, critical thinking. Like, yeah. why And now world, the system is not together. Why in the world would yeah. you say, we want your social media and I will create one and give you, and I'll never post anything I think, I think in the US, they just have social security numbers. But do you know what's so funny? Do you know that. what's so funny to me? Yeah. It's so funny to me that right now, if I was to just... Uh, I think I'm following all of you guys on social media. But if I wasn't following you guys and I just put your details online and I say, give me their social media handles, you don't have to ask me for it. You can look Bro, for it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And there's another thing. When you talk about security, why are you telling people your security means and trends when it should be under G so that they can <laughs> catch you when you commit a crime? You're not trying to say for your own safety. Mm. No, don't tell us. Keep us safe on the low to catch the people that are criminals so and are faulty. So let me, let me ask you a question. Why, why do you think that they want to collect um, cyber levies? They're trying to justify making more money. That's mm. it. You got okay, it. Okay, so, so we, we, I finally, honestly, we, we, finally, we finally, got finally got it. I honestly yeah. want to sit down. <laughs> I honestly want to sit down with... They think we don't have sense. That's I, the problem. No, I honestly want to sit down with whoever came up with this policy, whether it's the CBN governor or whoever works in CBN. And... I want to have the person explain no, to me so the, the why policy it hasn't kicked in. No, no, it I don't think it's not I just want yet. to yeah. hear the rationale behind it that yeah. we want your social media because, like... It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Doesn't you know, that's what I remember sense. some years ago, one time it when one federal it. government agency said they used a certain amount to open a Facebook account, which we all know to open a Facebook account is it's absolutely free. free. So, for, <laughs> so, 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 so for that, for that, for that, for that, you can't hold them to that because... They have consultants for everything. Yes, that's yeah. what I'm so, saying. It's so easy. Mm. It's so job. easy man, man, to come man, up with these yeah. things and just put it out there and feel like we people that are rational have no sense to question it. You mm. get where I'm coming from? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can, like time, you said, you can create multiple social media there's... accounts. Bro, you can create fake ones. Fake, you can create you can... hundreds. Like how? And that has to do my so banking. In, in, all of this, in all of this, there's one thing that definitely hasn't been answered. How does it improve... You know the system. I want someone to sit so, down and explain this. It, it doesn't. It, no one has uh, been able to Can put I that be honest together. With you? Some yeah. of the people that are even in government and are in certain places, their social media is so private that you don't even know it's them. You don't have access to it. That at the end of the day, I'm like, what? Are you trying to gain more followers? But, some, but, I know some bankers. I don't want to mention any names. There's some people that their names and what they do online is completely opposite to who of, they of are course, in real of life. Of course. And you, you know the so funny thing about pressure. it. So just a pressure. You're taking everything from us. Yeah. And now you want to take our social media. Exactly. Kukuma just put us in one prison. <laughs> <and let us. laughs> uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> but, I mean, um, there's a lot that we've said. There's a lot that we've observed. And, you know, there's a lot of changes that needs to come by, you know, talking more about things like this mm. and looking for the right solutions uh, to help, you know, give the right policies. Because at this rate, uh, we don't know what's going to happen. But um, we'll take a quick break. When we return, we take your social media uh, comments that and see from you. That, they th from. that they might take from you. Yes, rightly said. And then we'll see how that goes. It's still the black table. We'll see you right after the break. All right, welcome back. It's still the black table. And uh, we're going to be going through uh, some of the social media comments that has been shared uh, from by you guys. By the central bank. By the central bank. <laughs> <laughs> Social media that you might not use freely anymore because of uh, you know freedom of speech. But we'll start with a saucepan. Oh, Didi is in it. Oh, oh so a saucepan says Didi is in for it. Please. This is not looking good. Yes, um, talking about the earlier video that we all saw. Uh, mm. That involved uh, popular American uh, music bongo. 
PDD, Sean Combs, uh, assaulting his, uh, his ex-girlfriend now, Cassie. Mm. And uh, that video is from 2016. This is uh, gone. I mean, it's, it's a bad one. No, it's gone. Yeah, it's a bad one. Do you think then, he's going to be convicted? No, so I, no, but, that but they'll make business so hard. He will no. lose a lot of his assets and stuff. He has lost. So first off, first off, uh, first off, Diddy has fallen off. Let's say it exactly as this. Mm. Not he, really. You know, you bro, know the funny thing. Prior no, to all of there's this, there's only one human being in this world that has come out of a scandal like this, and that was Chris Brown. Him and that Rihanna saga. Yeah. And whoever brought him out, his publicist or whoever did it. But I, I, I have this thing I want to share with you guys, but I'll share it at the tail end of the show okay. why a lot of people, especially a lot of black Americans, think they're coming after Diddy. I'll share it after... They're, but, bro, they're not coming after him. We saw him. No, no, like, no, so the, the, the entire mentality is, oh, they're trying to come bring then. back... It's coming they're, they're, they're trying to bring down a... a I, I, that but, was my mindset yeah. until I saw this No, video. no, but I'm saying that there's still more... If you had asked me this thing, still three, more, if you had asked me this thing... Three days ago, three hours ago, mm. I would have said they're trying to bring him down. Bro, mm. he brought himself down. Okay, so he let's continue on uh, the comments that's been shared. So we have Adrayton, um, and he says, I only wonder how Cassie is dealing with this trauma. She dealt with aim for so long. She had a lot yes, of money, she, a, she had a a big money to cope with yeah. it. He paid off now. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, he he paid did off. that. Ajaya says, 50 Cent is about to have a whole year talking about this. Bro. So 50 Cent he has, has already started trolling. This. He's been trolling he Diddy. He's already started trolling. I mean, from day one over this. Everybody. Yeah, but he's been <laughs> very particular about Diddy. Then we have at Fire. I don't think there's any Nigerian artist that is as chaotic as Portable. Yes, we, we agree with you on that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Portable, the brand itself, is chaos. So, you know, it's, it's really, really uh, thriving with that. Then we have um, at Saigov. Education is truly not a scam. Double side. I, I don't get. Education portable. is truly not it's a scam. Talking about portable. Oh, still on portable. Well, it's got street education, so that, that should count for something. Mm. Then we have at Ratata. -ta. Mm -hmm. Ra -ta -ta. So as Ratata says, why not portable be in debt uh, when he has multiple wives? Oh, why won't portable be in debt when he has multiple wives? So yes, we didn't really touch base on that, but I, I don't think, so, so I don't I don't think, think that's one of the reasons why it doesn't might. justify the fact. I mean, the man, but truth be told, truth be told, so many people, it's not just portable, yeah. so many people are in that kind of debt and they haven't been exposed like this. Yeah, people buy yeah. certain things and make down payments and don't fulfill the repayment at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was already, portable himself was already talking about the vehicle and the reasons why that's he didn't correct. pay back. Mm -hmm. But you know, you paid that much, so I'm yeah. like, come on. Guy. Yeah, he talked about how the, the vehicle was faulty and all of that. Yeah, but after you enjoyed it. That's why yeah, didn't yeah, that's, that's why he didn't pay. So um, we have at Justin 888. Uh, and at Justin says the daughter should be examined for genital molestation. That's talking about the. Yeah, the guy that the posted the obscene, obscene pictures. The obscene yeah. pictures of his daughter. That guy should be thrown Does he even confirm jail. if he's really the father? No, that's the guy, he, he is the father. The guy should be thrown the in father. jail and the key should be thrown in you know, jail. You know, the sad thing for me when, he, when I really think about it, I think people are so desperate to be famous that they're just so doing whatever me, it takes to put it out there. I don't there. think he's desperate to be famous. If he can do this to his own child, imagine mm. what he has done to other people's other kids. Other people. Man. That's no, I think there. no, I won't. I I, I think there. I understand where he's coming from because yeah. you see, you see, the truth is, a lot of Nigerians don't understand the, the thin line between fame and crossing the line. Yeah, mm. you Absolutely. understand. So he would to him, this is my daughter. I mm. can do anything. But what he doesn't understand is that I can do anything to a child. <laughs> has yeah. a very he has yeah. a very. You know, exactly. but I have one question. serious exactly. line. Exactly. One question yeah. to cross. One question. Yeah. If CBN had his social media, what would they have been able to do in this kind of situation? <laughs> they would lock his account, so he won't have money. What would they okay. do? Okay. Guys, what is your problem with <laughs> CBN? Just, <laughs> you're, right. you're trying to create policies that you really don't know how you're going to handle it. So you have his social media, you put up his daughter there. <laughs> Uncle Are you going to block his bank account? Are you going to block his bank account? I know they Mm. You'll be doing things like uh, you don't have sense. Like okay. you don't have sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our next comment from social media is from at Nasi. Um, and Nasi says they should arrest the cameraman and club owners. Um, right. A bit lost. The cameraman and club owners. For? Uh, yeah, I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh, cameraman. Uh, yeah. Oh, is it the cameraman behind? 
This one, this one can be <laughs> arrested. She arrested. She carry him away. <laughs> but there's no club owner here now. Have you fed me? No, your there, club? there's no club owners here. There's no club. So uh, that that's a bit lost at Nancy. If you can still send in another message, send so we can understand you better. At Iki says, sadly, there aren't good child protection services to tackle things like this. No, they the are. The parents need serious rehabilitation. They are. They are. See, they are in this listen, they are in I'm not going to lie to you. There are mm. great child protection agencies in Nigeria. Mm. If you want to try them and test them, Bro, you're on your own. They, are. Uh, they will deal because with you. Because there was mm. one time, I think it was like yeah. two years ago, I remember there was a guy that was beating a girl on the other street. Because my, my house is like really, really high. I could look into the No, we know your house is high. Uh, come on there. <laughs> so, I, and, and like, it was, it, was, it was painful to watch, right? Mm. And I remember posting it on my stories that I beg anybody who know child services, let me know. Bro. One of the uh, governor's SSC called me. Mm -hmm. Like, they got that guy arrested. Wow. And they got him arrested and they took him to court. Mm. They got him arrested, took him to court. I think his mother even died because she was sitting there. She died later on. She was sitting there wow. watching the whole thing happen. And it was then that I realized that, oh, well, these Lagos, they, they won't work, then they yeah. won't go. Let me tell you something. If they won't work, yeah. then they won't There are laws in this country. They if are, you think that there are no laws, just break one. then you would... You just try. Out. You will find out. Realize find out. Mm. that there are laws true, true that. in this country. You F around now, the next out. comment That's we have thing. here is from uh, Kleenex, and Kleenex says, "You guys have said it all. It's pointless because people can't. Uh, people can create fake social media handles. Come on, like come on. I would even like, create, can create it just for CBN. Yeah, mm. just for CBN. Yeah, <laughs> you name it just for CBN. At just for CBN. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Same next one we have here. We have at Bamboo Bambi. Uh, at Bamboo Bambi, okay, uh, and this goes like this: Is Nigeria getting better or falling apart? Uh, Both. Because I'm confused with all these year year policies that are useless. Uh, well, your comments, we have put it out there, <laughs> and then we have Mimi Day. Uh, uh, Mimi Day says the government keeps focusing on the wrong thing, on the sure. wrong, on the wrong this wrong things. I guess mm. um, that's from Mimi Day. Uh, we have two more to take, and then we can, you know, wrap uh, it up. Give, um, you know, just the tip. So I'm thinking the man who traveled to Alicia would do that for us. Oh, the tip because, master. Because he must have brought back some things. <laughs> Teach us how to go international and please the foreigners. The navigator will do that. And then we have um, at Xavier 890. What about the lower class who doesn't own a browsing phone? Talk less of having a social media account. Now, that's still talking about the uh, proposed banking policy. You know, thank to you for even mentioning media, that. You know, because if you look yeah. at the percentage of Nigerians who are yeah. online, who yeah. are on social media, mm. compared to those who are not, yeah. why is their focus on that? Mm. Are they yeah. trying to make it a, 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 requiry, mm. a requirement, requirement yeah. for people to open accounts? Yeah. Because I'm telling you, there's more than 50% of people that Way have bank more accounts. Than that. Way, Way more, more than, than that. that. I'm just giving yeah. you the minimum number that are not on social media. Mm. So I'm, what about them? Mm. What are you trying to check? You're targeting one or two people. How many putting functional us... smartphones do you even have in Nigeria? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And at, uh, uh, our final um, uh, social media comment today is from a Daisy, and it's very simple. There are four letters. This country is finished. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but that's from my well, I don't know what country she's talking about. She it's, not, it's not this country, right? It's not this country. It no. can't be this country. As I long think, as we're here, yeah, it will not be not. finished. Exactly. No, but the truth is, Nigeria is not finished. Nigeria can't be finished. Never. 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 See, see, the thing is, the guy. No, you guys no, it's the, the truth. Green, the green no, thing no, going no, on. See, <laughs> no, no, you must understand green, that. Green. It can't and be see, finished. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. My country. See, let me tell you something. This country This country can change overnight, literally. All we need to Please do don't say is can, say will. we we ourselves, mm. not just the government. The you see, change that it's you see all my life we have always blamed the government. Mm. Bless we you, bro. ourselves need to change our mentality. Deck, our Deck, look into that camera, look into your camera and say vote for me twenty twenty. You know, or something. The diplomat, so, the navigator. Say it. <laughs> I'm with you. You have my votes. So. All right, so we we'll use this as our as our, you know, our our tip. You know what? Let me just give you yeah, just See, a what tip. you must look, bring the camera close. Mm. <laughs> look at him in Come the eyes. Focus. focus. You focus. must understand mm. that you are the future of Nigeria. Mm. Whatever it is that you do to your children mm. also speaks volume of the future. So please do right. Mm. God bless you. This is a very and then, woo! And then woo! vote for me woo! in 2020. This, 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 this is a very, very 
educated and enlightened <laughs> episode. I'm telling you. Deck no once said, but not everybody just. This Deck is, once this said, is black, this is a matured edition of the Black team. I'm telling you. I mean, we have more of this. So <laughs> all right, gentlemen. Right. Mm. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you all here tonight. I mean, uh, what can I say? But, you know, thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's see how the night plays out, yeah? You already know. Yep. We're in your hands. Uncle Gado, so anything can <laughs> set. We're in Rich Uncle Gado. Anything can set. Rich Uncle, we're in your hands. Uncle Gado, so anything can set. He said it's yes. not okay. us. Uh, These yeah. bad decisions will not make themselves. <laughs> that's another, that's another, that, Let's Rich go. Uncle, that's another tip. <laughs> another right, tip. Thank you. Thank you very much. Until uh, next week, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Don't do anything nasty. And uh, <laughs> hopefully, like nasty. Arsenal wins. The Premiership. Woo! All right, let's How? have a Come on, you Gunners! <laughs> Come on, you Gunners! Come on, you Gunners! I don't understand. Why are they making noise? I didn't contest you for the Come on, you Gunners! What? Go now. What are you sure? talking about, bro? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? Good night, guys. Good night. Come on, you Gunners! <laughs> <laughs>